In this video we'll briefly discuss what is prednisone and how it works, what it's used for, the dose and side effects, and contraindications and precautions. Prednisone belongs to a class of medications called corticosteroids. It is a synthetic glucocorticoid that is inactive until converted into prednisolone. It depresses formation, release and activity of endogenous mediators of inflammation, including prostaglandins, kinins, histamine, liposomal enzymes, and complement system. It also modifies body's immune response. So it is used in the treatment of chronic diseases including inflammatory, allergic, hematologic, neoplastic, and autoimmune disorders. It is available as 1 mg, 2.5 mg, 5 mg, 10 mg, 20 mg, and 50 mg tablets, and as oral solution. Dosages of corticosteroids are variable. These should be individualized according to the disease being treated and the response of the patient. The usual dose of prednisone for adults is 5 to 60 mg per day, in a single dose or divided doses. Dose and duration related side effects of prednisone include fluid and electrolyte disturbances, with possible edema and hypertension, hyperglycemia, osteoporosis, bone fractures, myopathy, menstrual irregularities, behavioral disturbances, poor wound healing ocular cataracts, glaucoma, arrest of growth in children, hirsutism, and Cushing syndrome. Take single daily doses or alternate day doses in the morning before 9 a.m. and take multiple doses at evenly spaced intervals throughout the day. Take medication with meals or snack to avoid gastrointestinal irritation. Do not discontinue prednisone suddenly to avoid withdrawal syndrome. Avoid people with known viral infections, particularly chickenpox or measles, and inform your physician if exposure occurs. And patients should not receive live virus vaccinations. Diabetic patients should monitor their blood glucose closely. Patients should carry medical identification card at all times, describing medication being taken. That's all for this video, subscribe and click on the bell icon for more animated medical videos like this one.